Hi everyone, Phil from Ted for Ted's here. Today we're going to be looking at this Seasonic power supply. It is the B12 BC850. It's a 850 watt bronze power supply, as I said, from Seasonic. If you don't know who Seasonic are, because they're not always necessarily the name what's out there in most shops and so forth, they actually make a lot of the power supplies for other manufacturers, and they basically just rebadge them. So a lot of your high-end power supplies on the market by your well-known brands are actually made by Seasonic. If you are interested in purchasing one of these, please click the link in the description below and you'll also get the latest prices. Are you looking for a great networking solution? Well, Tender has it all. Finding your BT router no longer has the power? Then try one of these from Tender. Hell yeah! Is the Wi-Fi on your laptop not working and you need a discreet solution? Well then get this from Tender. Hell yeah. Finding the kids can't get Wi-Fi in the bedroom and they're making your life miserable? Well you need to get one of these from Tender. Oh hell yeah. Looking for a low cost solution to get internet into your home office? Then you need to get some of these from Tender. Hell yeah. For all your networking needs, trust Tender. Hell yeah! Okay, let's have a quick look at the box. So we've got a Seasonic B12 BC850 850 watt power supply. It says it's a power supply, fixed cables, smart and silent fan control. Fixed cables basically means it's not modular, which means all the cables basically stuck into the box, so you can't just get rid of the ones you don't want, which is not a bad thing, but it's not a really a brilliant thing either. But again, it depends on what you're paying. This is an 80 plus bronze. Uh, which is a pretty standard and a five-year warranty on that. On the side of the box, it does tell you a lot of the specifications, including what cables it comes with, which comes with a 20 plus four motherboard connector. It comes with three Molex connectors. It comes with four PCI Express connectors. That's the six plus two pin ones, which are used basically for graphics cards. So it comes with four of those. It also comes with two 8-pin CPU connectors, so that's the ones what you connect usually top left of your motherboard. And it comes with six SATA connections. Uh, the dimensions are pretty standard, nothing too special there to really talk about. On the other side of the box, it's just another picture. On the back of the box, it shows you a bit about the environmental friendly curves and all this, that and the other, which basically said, telling you how efficient it is, should I say, rather than environmental friendly. And that's pretty much it as well as a few other bits of specs and so forth. Okay, as you can see, we've got the power supply plugged in. One thing to note is the power supply cable is actually pretty short. So that's the cable you plug into your wall socket. It's only 1.1 meters long, which is 110 centimeters. Normally, these things are usually about one and a half meters long, and maybe even 1.8 or even two meters long. So it is a very short cable. So you may struggle plugging it into your socket and then straight into the back of your PC without an extension on or some sort of a multi-adapter but let's go on to the testing now so we've got our thermal take tester the reason why we use the thermal take one we find this the most reliable one we've come across if obviously seasonic have some form of tester they'd like to send us then feel free and then we'll use yours but we're using the thermal take one because i find that's the best one we've got so i'm going to turn the power supply on obviously the light comes on there just telling us there's power to the power supply but it's not actually powered on as such and you'll see as soon as i press this button here the fan will start on the power supply and we'll get some numbers on this screen here we go so these numbers on the screen as you can see here are actually very good to be honest with you these are probably some of the best numbers i've seen so basically it's saying the five volt line is going in at exactly five volt 12 is 12 Okay, the 3.3 is at 3.2, which is still more than acceptable. The 12 is at 12.1, the 5 is at 5.1. So basically, within 0.1, they're all within the range there should be. In a lot of cases, we find some power supplies can be as much as 0.3 or 4 out, depending on the test. So there we have it. We have a really good PSU, good wattage, 850 watts. It's bronze, so it's not the most efficient, but it's definitely not the worst. So it's a it's pretty adequate in that sense. It's got some nice flat black cables in there, which basically means the cables are flat. So it's ideal for cable routing as well as airflow. 
the 24 pin cable is shrouded so that gives it a nice clean effect there's no multicolored cables in there or anything like that the only downside i can really say is the labeling or the artwork on the sides of the power supply as in it's just got basically the specifications on one side nothing on the other side it doesn't look very attractive in a window of a let's say a see-through case but then again generally you really want a modular power supply in most cases if you have got a window on the side of your case but otherwise very happy with the power supply testing was brilliant did everything we asked we give it a 48 hour stress test on our new intel 12th gen 12 900k processor and it ran absolutely fine no problems no crashing no inconsistency in voltage did everything it said it should on the tin and it did everything it should as well so i'm happy to highly recommend this product thank you for watching this video everyone it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end please make sure you subscribe like comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams it does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time